Hi there, Ken from Tanning Bit Repair Guide. Inductors for crossovers, like for filtrating speaker outputs to your speaker driver. And why would you need that? Well, if you have like a woofer and you want to avoid the high sounds into it because you already have a tweeter taking care of that job and you want to avoid like this pesky sound called breakup from the cone like from the actual speaker driver that sounds nasty well you might want to put on one of these inductors and an inductor an inductor is a coil a wire insulated wire where you create a magnetic field in the middle and that magnetic field uh, it's going to take some some time to build up um, inside from whatever power you're putting through it and when it had charged that field it's basically ready to uh, to lead power through it and so the bigger that that coil is and the more that you have to provide this this field uh, all the little small charges which is a small frequency that would be very very small like bursts of uh, of, um, of 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 sine curves like into the power the power from from the small frequencies from the high tones is is gonna be too short to ever build up a uh, field inside of these uh, these induct uh, one of these big inductors is it will only maybe do it on a small one so for high tones uh, the very high tones you really don't want anything like an inductor in between there but to if you want to get rid of the high tones like for a woofer they're perfect so a way also to increase the amount of that uh, magnetic resistance if you will is to put a core in it like a metal core this is ferret but it's also steel and you but what it would do is that it will build up this this magnetic force in it and that will also um, have some resistance it, it would take some time for it to disappear where the air is nearly immediate that the magnetic field the moment that the uh, power disappears it would disappear the, the magnetic field would disappear but with a ferret or a steel core you will have some remnants as it's called magnetic remnants and so the now the reverse power coming through it is going to have to fight that core a little bit and that's called hysteresis so but for filtering music like the loudspeaker signal uh, I, I take in this little amplifier here I put on some some uh, music here on the input and I want to sh show you what it does to this full range speaker so first we're gonna hear what happens without any of these inductors on and then I want you to hear the difference between increasing the value from a very little one and uh, up to the very big one I think that's interesting so let's start out with with full signal and now with the small inductor it's very little difference a little bit more muffled where you're taking where I taking the top off wait for the voice here you can hear yeah and lastly the big guy 8.2 milli Henry and that's like basically like a subwoofer filter so that's what the inductor does. It simply needs the, the the smaller the value is, the less 
charge time from the signal it's going to need for it to lead so that's why that it will only dim uh, at a very high point and down in the frequency range with this becomes very very low frequency only that it's letting through and so that's a very basic filter that's what's called a first order filter or you can call it a 60 dB per octave filter so that's how it does it uh, it's it's lowering the music signal to the speaker driver by about uh, six decibel for every octave and you can increase that to 12 decibel per octave by putting this in, in series just like that but then take a capacitor that has the reverse effect we have another video on capacitors that we put that I put up earlier where you take the capacitor and put that to new or to 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 minus so you you're grounding it so you're short shorting it to ground so that the sounds gets grounded with the capacitor so the high high notes are being shorted essentially so that's how you make your second order or 12 decibel per octave filter so but this was to show you the concept of what the inductor does in the speaker this very frequency that this value would give would change if you change the resistance like the load of the speaker driver so this one here is is 8 ohms if you put on one for 4 ohms you have twice the current running from the amplifier and what that would result in is that half the value of this inductor will be able to do it because because of the lower impedance load they'll run more current so the the field magnetic field of this inductor will will come up much quicker so you can do with a smaller inductor when we're talking about a form load but then the capacitor since it's working opposite of this would need to be twice as big than before so just knowing that it's very important that you design these sizes to the impedance of the loudspeaker Ken from Tanning Bed Repair Guide take care guys I hope you got something out of it I know it's a very big rabbit hole or like a very long rabbit hole for for um, for speakers but I find it interesting I hope you do too take care bye